day, YouTube. I hear the paparazzi flying over there. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on camera. But, uh, they haven't found us yet, so... Oh, they're getting closer. Anyway, welcome to another Saturday. Out with the Jimmy. Uh, today is what? May... Well, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. So, uh, what are we going to get into today on this thing? Well, I've got a little bit of primer and high temp paint. High temp primer and high temp paint. We're putting on that pipe we made last weekend. Just the weld so that uh, it doesn't rot out. Yeah, he's buying the trees. Just see him flashing through a little bit there. But uh, just to kind of keep that up and going, that's not a huge project, but uh, got the primer on now. Uh, we're going to pull the spark plugs. I'm going to put a little bit of herbal mystery oil down there just to help keep things inside a little lubed up. Um, possibly going to prime the oil system today, although we got to get oil in it because there's nothing in the motor. She's bone dry. Only because we have not fired this motor yet. This is a rebuilt short block with brand new cylinder heads. Come on, get in there. And a brand new dipstick. Or new dipstick tube. So uh, yeah, prime the oil pump. A little mystery oil in the cylinders. Put the plugs back. Actually, we'll leave the plug. I'll put the plugs back in for now. Uh, we may pull the plugs and turn things over a little bit with the key, possibly, and uh, we might be ready to fire. Gotta get wires on. Kevin was mentioning there was some PVC stuff to figure out, a couple of vacuum lines, but uh, we might be just about there. He's over welding on his tractor right now. Let's just dump this right over to you. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, get some tools out and see what we can do to get things set up here. And Probably not going to film a whole lot unless we decide to actually turn it over. But uh, we got the starter on last time. It's wired in. Fuel lines were buttoned up. New fuel filter. Uh, the all important got stickers on. So I'm pretty sure I preloaded the uh, oil filters before I put them on. Let me just pop those off and just double check. Because uh, we're going to be starting this thing for the first time. I want those filled before, uh, before we start cranking. I don't want to run this thing dry any longer than we have to. So. Although technically with the prime in the oil system, the oil pump, it should pump all through the filter, so I think we'll be all right. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. It's a freaking gorgeous day out here today. So, see what we can do. Back after a bit. John. Right. You got number four or five? I think this is five. It should be six with those filters. Do we want to preload the filters? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Check the dipstick. Just to Yep, dipstick's still there. I mean, we're priming it, we don't need to have it completely filled up. Right. Now there's oil on the dipstick. We're uh, just above the ad mark. Let's just leave it at five and then we'll prime it and then we'll top it off. Yeah. Once everything's filled up. Well, I do know I want to get that distributor thing in there and start yeah, filling this round. the cap we were using out of the distributor hole there. Push down on it with the drill, right? Yeah. It's just gonna sit there. Got Marvel sitting right over there. <laughs> One drip, two drips. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's been sitting under here fermenting for a while. What? All the corrosion on all the aluminum parts. Uh, my truck does the same thing over there. It's just this area. So yeah, just need to. Uh, I sprayed my whole engine down with WD-40 just to try and seal it up a little bit. It seems need to. Help. Need to remember to tighten up this nut on the back of the distributor or the uh, alternator. alternator there. So, uh, not important if you want to charge. So, definitely don't want to drop this thing into the engine, which I don't think it'll fall in. All right. So, so probably since we don't really have a way to hold it on. So let me hand me the, the drive. The well, I guess you could just hold on to it like this. There you go. That works. Just I was just going to, yeah. It's going to be slippery though, so don't drop it. And it should guide it in. You should be able to just rotate it and it'll line up in the slot. Thinking I'm on something? Like that. Base isn't down all the way. Is it going in straight? Seems to be. Yeah, let's pull it back out. Let's put just the base in first, see how it how it fits. See if that thing actually goes in. That should oh. seat all the way down, right? I think the bottom kinda has a there we go, threads, yeah, that's right, it's kinda tight. No, it's good. Oh, out. that's right. It's got to go down first. I forgot that it's got to. You got to rotate it. Shouldn't have to. You're not. You not making the gears go in. Of course, that shaft is probably moving around. Why don't you stick that in first, then? Let's see if you can get it to sit. It's gonna have to go right down the middle. You should feel it slide over the pump shaft. Spin it 90 degrees to get it to. Something. It's got to be like perfectly centered down there. Yeah, I can't tell from this angle. Which is probably why this wasn't going down, so it's probably hanging up on top of that. Yeah. So, so I'll put it back together, unless you want to give it a whirl. Yeah, let me give it a shot. Yeah, That's right, we ground the gears off of. I meant to drop this, but I dropped this hand. <laughs> Do you need to clean it? You're on the rag, what? Yeah. Yes, I am, but don't say that to me. Come to find out they've run different your distributors with different bases or something. I'm sure we tried this out before we did it, right? I don't think we did. I don't remember it. Well, we made it. Maybe we didn't stick it in there this one. Shaft is flopping around in there. I don't know what it's doing. What is it on? No. It's like it's sitting on top of the shaft. This is where that little uh, bore scope camera that I bought would come in handy, but mm -hmm. it's at the house and the batteries are probably dead. Well, what good is that? It's saving me on batteries. I wonder if I can look down the hole with a flashlight or something. Now you're going to want some sort of illumination. I can do it with the cap for the mystery oil. Oh, it's around. I, know, I set it down somewhere where I'll never figure it out. Okay. You just wanted a free bottle of mystery oil, didn't you? Yeah. Right, there is. We tried to hide it, but I found it. Probably another flashlight out here, do you?
Don't scratch my truck. <laughs> Grab handles and stuff. Don't need them. This is a real truck. These are made to be worked on. Yeah. What we got down there? Just gonna hang off to the side. What? Which way is the slot? Dirty slot. You're on camera, you know. Your mom will oh. be watching this. Yeah, it's just a Chevy. The filters will catch it. I see you. Did we put the oil pump in backwards? <laughs> Does it fit in the hole? <laughs> Grinding? They didn't just run, hope did everything's the same size. Uh, well, as long as it catches enough to spin the pump. <laughs> but it doesn't, because it doesn't go in the hole. Yeah, you know, that's why I was asking, did they make different... We had to have tried this out before. Yeah. I'm hoping it's I don't think we did. We had to have. We wouldn't be that dumb, would we? Yes. <laughs> Look at the project that we're working on. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll sell a perfectly good running truck to go buy myself one that doesn't have a motor or a transmission. I wonder if we can uh, grind out just the center, basically taper it a bunch so it comes all the way out to the edge. That way it'll kind of catch it better. Because it might also just be that it's... Sitting at an angle, watch yeah. that socket there that's gonna roll and drop. Yeah, it might just be so. I just can't get it to go. Why is the drive off that way off at an angle? It just hangs around in there and oh, it flops around. It shouldn't. It should drop right together. Yeah, it's that's what I was asking. They didn't make different distributor ends for those, did they? I mean, different sizes for different years? I'm not a small block Chevy expert or anything. Why not? It feels like it's dropping in the first little taper. Put the hammer out. Well, you figure that out. I'm going to go earn my expertise on exhaust clamps. Remember the camera, right? <laughs> now we've got a couple more distributors around here, so I'm going to look at everything. Okay. All right. Twinkle toes over here drilled out the center of that little drive unit, and we got the fake distributor in there, and now we can put a motor on her and pump it up. Pump, pump it up. Verified this part. All right. <laughs> Knock all the dirt inside the motor for you. Oh, that's all. That's what the filters are for. Yeah. Hopefully, this has a big enough chuck for that. <laughs> Drill it out. <laughs> yeah. I got to get it to grab onto it down there. I wonder if, if it'll be a pain in the ass to set it up now and then. Yeah. This is where one of those uh, flex drive adapters would really come in handy. Alright, here we go. Let's see if this works. Should I be seeing anything on the oil gauge? Eventually, yeah, you might. Well, is that electric gauge or is that. Yeah, it's going to be electric, so it might not. Probably won't work. Well, just turn the key on. <laughs> okay, the hard part is getting this all to fit in here now.
Push or suck, right? It's getting heavier, so it's loading up. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold it, hold it. I got leaks all over here. Woo! Apparently, I need uh, some sort of Teflon on the ends of those. Uh -oh. What? The uh, lock off fittings for that. Oh. Where we've got oil so far. So at least the filters are full. I don't hear leaking elsewhere. Take those glasses off. Oh. <laughs> we will dump like an Asian massage <laughs> <laughs> parlor here. <laughs> yeah, we almost smell like one too. <laughs> Not right. that I've ever been in one to know what they smell like. <laughs> okay, Kevin fixed all my screw ups. inside the motor. Pressurizing something. Yeah, he's just pushing air out of everything. <laughs> to see if we're... Well, <laughs> it's a really weird sound. I know. Let's grab the battery and throw it in and see if we can turn the, the electric on. Socket. That is an odd sound. Maybe it's just pushing oil, air out of all the bearings or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not used to this. Oiling her up for the first time. But it also doesn't feel like it's loading up like the first time. It felt like the oil pump got kind of heavy as it was going. Well, probably because we were reversed on the uh, yeah. lines. Hopefully, it's, hopefully things are right. It's not my fuel. It's loaded my fuel. I don't know. It's heavy. We don't. There it is. It's definitely making pressure. Yeah, we got just a small leak here, so it's not like it was before. Hopefully, it's not going to blow something up. It's got. Oh, remember you said you're going to be an idiot to put that yep. back on? See, I thought it was going to work. It's got metal shavings in it, so it's flushing the aluminum crap out. It would be nice to have a gauge just so we can see how much pressure. Make sure now we're not over pressurizing something. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I you got the battery, battery in like your truck. truck. <laughs> no, no, I need mine. I don't want to reset all my shit. That's, that's what I bought my battery for. You're going to buy me a new battery? I want an interstate. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> Okay. Maybe when we actually use the starter. <laughs> Is that going to be an 8 again on both of those? Or? Yeah. I don't hear anything arcing out yet. It's a good sign. Ooh. Where'd something go? Well, that was your alternator spark. <laughs> Oh, because that bolt's not. Yeah, that one's loose. Maybe we can tighten that up right now, too, while we're at it. Oh, yeah. What size is that? Maybe it's this size if we're lucky. 
Yep. Probably Metro. Watch the oil gauge here. Okay. Oh, yeah, climbing. It's moving. 15, 30, 45, 60, or 80. Oh, yeah, she's climbing. 15, 30, 45, 60, or 80, whatever it is. Uh oh. I still hear a squirting on your yeah, side. Yeah, it's coming from down below. Yeah, this has fresh oil coming off of it still. I hear the fuel pump. Oh, maybe that's right here. So these things, but it's, but it's when I hear the fuel pump in the tank, but I hear hissing. Can't maybe they're coming to line open or something? You can turn the fuel pump off. That should turn off automatically. You don't want to stop running. Yeah. Oh. So we're probably just pressurizing. Yeah. There's nothing in the system. We should disable that because I don't want fuel. I don't want it to prime the motor. Well, I'm too late. The injectors are disconnected. Yeah, sure the injectors aren't plugged in. Well, I got GoPro footage of the. Uh... I probably need to pull those plugs out and put Teflon on them because they're still leaking a little bit. The. Uh... On yours. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Back there. Yeah, that's kind of weird. 
find your fill pump relay and see if it's sticking or something. There's a relay box on these things. I don't know. Right. We're, we're oh yeah, we're leaking good off this end here. So we got oil in the filters. Yeah. Well, I'd say we're primed. Pretty much just do it till it comes out the rockers. And the rockers are pretty much full now. So. Let it sit for a little bit and drain back down, and tough on those before we fire it, just so we don't have more of a mess. Should have done it when I had it apart. Yeah. Have to pull the filters off. Just gonna keep draining and draining and draining. Yeah. Wait for the pressure to bleed off. Got the Teflon handy? It's around here. It's been stepped on. Oh, that's good for sealing. Might as well just start with the bottom one. That's what the pitch oil in somehow? No. Try and catch some oil. It's already drained a massive amount. Maybe it drains back or something. Or I can just glue this. Oh, nope. finger's not big enough. Slow down. We had some shop towels. <laughs> This drain. <laughs> it's a real cream. Well, at least the top one will be uh, easier. Put like five quarts of oil on the ground, huh? Mm -hmm. We need to go buy more. Okay, which way does the thing go? It's this way. Which way does it? Imagine the tail after you rip it off. I don't know. Think about it. Probably going backwards anyway because I'm thinking about it. Primer up again. See how much it leaks this time, huh? Side here. See if it leaks still. Here, now it's gonna squirt air all through the system again. Since it's oil pressure, it must turn on or something. Maybe we're not leaking. Maybe we're just a little residual in there. I heard it. Yes, that was probably because the pump kicked on again. It's Put what 
five in it? Yeah, it should be six with the fields here, but a quart low shouldn't be making that much of a difference. Yeah. Of course, we've spilled a lot too. No, Lolly, no. I got nothing on here. Of course, all those filters, that takes probably two quarts. So we're going to be a quart low. What is the hole you ran in for? most of it, but enough? <laughs> yeah, because it hasn't had enough oil to really can't puddle up or anything up here. Oh yeah, got got some in the head there. A little bit. Looks like I got nothing showing up here. You gotta <laughs> suck the system dry somehow. I need a wipe. Kinda dirty though. Axel. Barking up. I need a clean wipe. A whole bunch of them here. You can't see them. They showed up just in time, didn't they? Yeah, now that we're done. Yeah. That's a good thing to Monday. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> Yesterday I got a new filter for my shop back. I got a bunch of cutoff wheels. I, up, I bought a bunch of them sanding flapper discs. This thing's are great. Look at you going crazy with the shop stuff now. Yeah, I was sitting on the toilet at work one day. <laughs> I was like, what do I need for the shop? This, this. Bought a new utensil basket for the dishwasher. Oh, wow, wow. There's little holes in the bottom so the stuff was just falling through it. All right, that's our last quart of... Wow, it's still not showing on the dipstick. Really? So we sucked that much through there. Guess we're going to go have to steal one of your... Uh... That's weird. It's hard to put a high... Volume pan. We didn't. Well, I guess we did drink. We had lost probably almost a quart. So, oh, we got one left. So it's five. So that's six. So technically, we probably have five in there. Well, it's probably still not showing. But then with all those big oil filters, those are gonna take a little bit. Yep. Sure, the old pH eight A's. <laughs> Probably get to the ad or just just above with that. So yeah, it's not too bad. 